What's up, Jaywalkers? We're going to be watching Season 1, Episode 7 of Euphoria. I was supposed to have this up a lot sooner, but I've explained this in a few videos now, uh, that my laptop did die, so I wasn't able to do any recording, any editing. And yeah, it was, it was a rough time, but my new one's here. So, of course, we're, we're watching Episode 7 of Euphoria. We're ready for it. We're nervous. Only two more episodes. We're very nervous to see how this season wraps up and ends. Uh, but the last episode... Fuck Nate. That's really all I gotta say about it. Um, making Tyler confess to choking Maddie out. Getting Jules involved in the situation. Just fuck Nate completely. Uh, and that's that's all I'm gonna comment about on the, on, the, on the last episode. But yeah, episode 7. The full reaction to this episode and all other ones I watch and have watched for Euphoria will be up on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of this video here and all other videos that I post here on YouTube. So if you want to check out the full uncut, unedited reactions, feel free to hit that link and do so. But if we're on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. I, I need that car. His dad was really handsome. The kind of handsome that made people treat him differently. I wanted her to become a professional ice skater. Gotta love the mom that'll hype you up like that. Look at you all grown up. Come on, give me a hug. You really feel it out. Oh, shut up. Get the fuck out of here, man. You gotta chop my finger off at that point. I have to boot my nose. Except for the night before she started ninth grade. Dude. No one should ever be together if they're gonna fight like that. I used to visit them on weekends. But eventually it became once every couple of weeks. Sometimes more than a month would go by. Man, I can't break my heart so early in this episode. Still 15 to eight minutes to do that. He was driving home from work. Oh. He was in the ICU for 23 days. The doctors were afraid he'd never walk again. Cassie would text him and talk to him. But as more time went by, the less responsive he became. A week after her 15th birthday, she got a text from a random number at about 1 in the morning. What the fuck? No, I don't think I can. I want you to know this never a day goes by. Don't think about you. Fuck, man. The number you texted me from. Don't cry, baby. I'm crying. This is fucking tragic. I'm okay. I'm fine. Don't You're not fine. He said he needed a few things and made her promise that she wouldn't tell a soul. Cassie kept her promise and never told anyone about that night. She also never saw her dad again. And she knew that most guys after she broke up with them would always share those photos or videos. The first time she found out she had a panic attack and I gotta say though, after that opening scene, I think Cassie, my, my new favorite character, just seeing what she went through with her parents, I mean everyone, everyone in the opening scenes have had tragic backstories, but I don't know, it's something about that, yeah, that made me love her character a lot. Way to measure depression, because when reality TV begins to feel like work, like final season of Mad Men work, you know you're depressed. True, I asked you how I look, not about Daniel. Yeah, well, you look beautiful, Cassie. You look fucking amazing. It's literally all anyone's ever told you your entire life. Depression is that even though you know you're depressed, you're unable to stop yourself from getting worse. But Dude, that's... I wasn't the only one feeling down. That's crazy deep. Tyler Clarkson was booked for assault. But this shit wasn't adding up. Keep looking, you mook. I'm Morgan fucking Freeman, and this is the beginning of the third act. 
Choose in love with me. Why would Jules be in love with Nate? Why oh, you should listen to me. But at the six she 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 me. Listen. 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 She never fucking saw his face. That's so Jules was catfish. Now hear me out so at the carnival. She yes. made friends with this girl. No. She's fucking knocking at my window. She's all emotional. She got fucking tears in her eyes. I said, Jules, what the fuck happened? She looks at me, she goes. He didn't look like his pictures. His name was Nate Jacobs? Tyler. Damn. That's a big clue. Tyler Clarkson? You got damn right. You got damn right. Turn to Heisenberg. This is amazing. Hello? Howard, it's Bennett. 45 in the morning, don't you ever sleep? Listen, why would Nate single out Jules in the first place? It's obvious he was sexually attracted to her. She fell for him. That's why she fucking testified. I'm a yeah, genius. You're, you're almost I'm there. Hey, Mom! You're I'm almost there. genius! You want to tell McKay that you made out with Daniel at the carnival and on Halloween? Yeah, but I don't, I don't have to say it's Daniel. Bitch, that's the craziest idea I've ever heard, right? For sure. Yeah, but I want to be honest with her. Yeah, I feel like um, you have to tell them. Kissing is worse. It's so much more intimate. And if anybody brings it up, you deny, deny, deny. Okay, she, I, I, just, I don't, want I don't think it's worse, but she has a point with it no, being I'm intimate. Like, Cassie, it's not like you guys are going to be together forever. Kat, what the fuck is your you problem? Say that? Okay. I've met you. All you talk about is yourself, your clothes, your boyfriends, whatever superficial shit you think is so fucking important. Sorry, I'm no longer interested. I don't know about everyone else, but I miss the old cat. You know, the one who had a sense of humor and wasn't a fucking cunt? Damn. Damn. It, that was supposed to be about Cassie. It turned into something different. It's too many shots fired. I guess so, but I've also never been in this situation where I've been interested in two guys. It's also because you're shy. Maybe. <laughs> it's like me, the majority if of my life. What if not saying something made you feel really bad? Worse than saying it. Yeah. I feel like you have to have honesty in any relationship. Well then, I this is gonna sound sick because I'm actually in a lot of pain right now due to the sheer weight and strain on my bladder. But man, does this make me miss opiates. I was trained from a very early age not to pee whenever it wants to. It needs permission from your brain. And when you're really high, your brain gets a little lazy. Your mom tells me that you have a new, uh, best friend. What the hell is that? Good. Rick, don't do that. It makes everyone uncomfortable. Uh, Rick. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> How dare you speak to someone like that? <laughs> Who? I meant to say is that my mom can do better and I hate seeing you sit in the chair my dad sat in. Rick, it's time to go home, get some sleep, deal with your roast. Sleep it off. Start again. Do you still have that gun? What gun? That maybe you could use one to scare Nate Jacobs. Are you serious? I mean, I'm great plan. Not. I'm all for it. Ooh, that must be the dumbest shit you said all fucking day. You don't have to fucking point it at it. He fucked with me, he fucked with Jules, and I want fucking revenge. Okay? Sorry. What's this here? What they got? What's up? Alright, so stay in here, be quiet. Because I can't. I can't stay in here. Like, I'm Yes, really, the I'm fuck not you can. No. No. So, uh, fuck no. Me too. No. Well, let's not do that, Rue. The other thing about depression is it kind of collapses time. Bro, you listening? Suddenly, you find your whole days blending together to create one endless and suffocating loop. No, I've been there. I've been. So you find yourself trying to remember the things that made you happy. But slowly, your brain begins to erase every memory that ever brought you joy. And then eventually, all you can think about is how life has always been this way. 
that's exactly how you feel when you're depressed, too. It's exactly the way you think. You're going into, like, such detail, like, such good detail about it, too. Rue, she's explaining this to us. Like, it, yeah. It's sad, for sure. Are you friends, or are you... Okay. <laughs> no, rather, 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 rather. Okay. Someone I want you to meet. Hi. I'm Jewel. I know. Like, get okay. it? Okay. Date it, guys. Right? Date isn't really the right word. What she means to say is that she's a slut. Uh, fuck you. What? It's not an insult. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you? Okay, what? Conquered femininity. I don't know. But it's not like I even want to conquer it. It's like I want to fucking obliterate it. I'm not gonna. What? Okay. You for real? Are you 100% pregnant? Yeah. That's what she just said. Come on, Makeda. Don't think about having this kid, are you? She might be. Do I really love you, McKay? Yeah, I love you too, but I'm doing a lot of shit right now. I don't even think you want to have this baby, okay? It's not a, it's not a fucking fairy tale. Like, this may seem all cute and cuddly to you, but this is real shit. Don't, I'm not even ready to be a dad. It's a sensitive I don't know if time for her. You're selfish gonna, to say or whatever, but you're gonna act like this. Have to talk about it, so here we are. We're talking about it, but I say you're fucking yelling it. about it. You can have a better conversation than mm -hmm. this. Saying I'm gonna have a baby. I say that without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, well, girls gotta eat. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, Satan. We're, clear, we're talking to a demon, clearly, so. End call. End. That's the exact moment I'd be looking for a career change and a different way to get money. So as soon as Satan starts wanting to see you new, though, we're out. Yeah, I don't know what's been going on with you, Rue, and Jules and shit, but you should know. Shit. <laughs> I really do care about her. Nah, bro, that's like my family. So it's platonic. Look, man. Yes. All I'm saying is leave her and her friends alone. It's like a threat. Yeah, it's a motherfucking threat, Nate. Yes. You're like half a retard. You dropped out of school at 20, and now you're a gangster. And you're like fucking Tony Montana. What's the plan? I'm saying you keep fucking with Rue and her friends, and I'm gonna kill you. Damn! Just came out and said it. It's gonna be 575, playboy. Now you gotta fucking, you gotta love that bluntness. I know what you're thinking. Real, this is insane. Don't get a kidney infection, walk to the bathroom. Trust me. I'm thinking the same fucking thing.
I'm the person that you fell in love with. I want to kill you. I'm yours. I'm yours. You're a bitch. And I wish the whole fucking world could be. Yeah, I'd like to report a crime. I think I need your help. were fixed and constant and would never end for the rest of my life. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Season 1, Episode 7 of Euphoria. I feel, de I feel dead inside. Um, I felt like I was on drugs watching this episode. Uh, especially when Jules was, was doing drugs at the party. Like I thought I, thought I was on drugs. I was, I was about to go seek help. I was, dang, I'm an addict. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this episode was rough. Like, in every part, every single part of it. Ruse, depression, not getting out of bed, can't even pee. Uh, I've, I've been depressed uh, plenty of times in my life. Never that bad. Never that bad, so. With everything going on with that, and then her and Jules. Them not texting for a week. Uh, Jules telling her that She's gonna go visit a few friends uh, from where she used to live. <sighs> or her friend, not a few friends, but her friend. And that that just turned out to be a travesty, right? That was a that was a whole travesty, uh, especially at the club. We didn't, we didn't, yeah. Oh, oof! I don't even know what to say, man. The whole the whole Jules Rue situation with what they're both going through with what Rue's going through I don't even want to talk about that right now because that that hurts that just this just hurts my heart my heart is hurting right now but uh Cassie telling McKay that she's pregnant McKay immediately immediately just, just says you're not gonna have this baby and just disapproves of it doesn't even really give Cassie like any say like she she wanted to have a discussion about this McKay started yelling immediately he has football, he has school, his parents are gonna kill him, you can't, you're not considering having this baby, there's no way. Uh, and Cassie was just like, I never said I was gonna have the baby, I just wanna, wanted to think about it for a minute. Uh, I love Cassie. I love Cassie. 
so much. And then her going to her mom, crying, hugging her, asking her for her mom's help. Emotional. Uh, and, and just from the moment the episode started with what she went through with her father and her mother. And her father getting into, into that car crash, then becoming a, a junkie, and then the first time in forever you want to talk to your daughter is so you can get into your house to steal things, to buy more drugs, and then you never talk to her ever again after that. Like, just everything she went through, and how she, I don't know, and how she didn't feel loved by her parents, and all the crazy things that happened with her parents sort of made her into who she was, especially wanting all this attention from men from the relationship she was in. Uh, it just, yeah, man, the things that happen around you sort of turn you into, uh, I don't know, sort of turn you into uh, some type of person in some way. Uh, things things around you affect you in some type of way. Uh, and she had it rough. Like I think her backstory probably hit me the hardest uh, from the opening scene. I know we had a lot in Maddie, we had McKay's, we had Jules, we had a lot of them, but I think Cassie's was like my, my favorite for sure. Uh, and I think Cassie might honestly be my favorite character now. Uh, I adore her. I, I do. <sighs> At a loss for words, we don't really know what else to say. We have one more episode. Uh, it's just, how is that episode? How is that episode going to torture me? How can this end? I don't know anything about there being a season two or if this is a one season thing. So this is the last episode we'll ever see. Uh, I don't know if it's extended, if it's like an hour and a half. I don't know, but I feel like there's still a lot that needs to be done. Nate, Fez, of course, Fez threatening Nate, saying, if you ever mess with, with Rue, Joel's again, I'll fucking kill you. Like, he like, didn't beat around the bush. He came out blunt and said it. Kill you. Uh, and Nate's gonna call it. Fuck Nate. Uh. Yeah, crazy shit. Crazy shit. Love the whole Rue detective sequence, too, where she was trying to figure everything out. Uh, I thought that was, like, probably the like the, the best part about the episode that didn't make me feel like absolute crap. Uh, just seeing her like that was, was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, we'll wrap it up there. There's just a lot more to touch on in this episode, but I, I'm just not going to get into it right now because this one hurt. I need a breath of fresh air. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to episode 7. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.